let's take a look at Obsidian 073 today because we have a new release. This actually encompasses three, four releases. It encompasses 070 here. It encompasses 071. These are all in the forum. Uh, 072 and 073 because there's bugs. So let's look. I actually think the best summary really is this right here is yours, uh, in the Discord channel um, for this. It's the best summary of what our important changes are. And let's start with the ability to manually link panels, panes, instead of having to do the other way, which is just more difficult. And we'll open up Obsidian and we can split right there. And then we can go into more options and link with pane. Now it's going to ask us which pane. We can choose the pane. We can flip this over to edit mode. And now you can see we would have on both sides like what we're actually editing, right? A lot of live update. If I want to change that to two, I like that. It is nice. It's just it's significantly easier than the other way you had to do it, um, which was just hard. Our next thing, let's go to the entire new pane system uh, includes putting notes in the sidebar. So that is this over here. You may notice my sidebar looks different. I have backlinks up top and tags below. That's because I can do like this and move things around. Now, right, I could recombine them if I wanted like that. I do wish that when you like you see this purple, you can tell where it's going to drag to. There we go. It does seem like here it should highlight. It's still going to stay where it is. And it doesn't do that, unfortunately. But I still want like that. Backlinks up top, tags at the bottom. That kind of sounds like a mullet joke right there. Party in the back. Business up front. Next up, what do we have? Uh, backlinks can now be open for a pane. So that means I can go in here and I could say open backlinks. You can see a split down here of my backlinks. And you see this is unlinked between two panes. Let's actually unlink this one. So it's no longer linked. Did you see how it hovered purple? Right, I can see it's linked between this pane. And let's split vertically. And this is no longer linked, right? You can see I can hover and it's no longer linked. And I can go down here and open up to the end of average. Now I can see the backlinks on the end of average. Right over here, I could, in fact, I think once you start doing this, it's a little nicer if you want to see multiple backlinks to simply close your side pane. Let's uh, open backlinks again. And I have my backlinks for books on race. And I could split this vertically. And then you can see link. Again, link. I can see what panes are linked. And I can go in here and let's open up why well, I'm no longer talking to white people about race. Now I can see the backlinks across like four different notes, right? Backlinks for books on race, backlinks for the end of average, backlinks for books on race again. Um, I could even change this to so good they can't ignore you maybe. Now this is backlinks for so good they can't ignore you. You can still see the panes are linked and backlinks for why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. Gives a lot more um, benefit, and I can even drag to rearrange. I can change how my splits work. Again, this is part of that's part of the new panel system. Again, cool feature. I like it. Let's see what else we have. Um, ability to manually link panes, graph view, default uh, readable. So like, this is a 4K 27 inch monitor, and you can see we don't have a full. Our line widths are just smaller um, in a note where I've written a lot. Like if I went to what do I have? Mm -hmm. The end of average, I don't know if I have anything right now. So let's go to Oh, maybe I could go to my daily notes, I open up this and go to a daily. Yeah, so this formerly would have been really wide, right? Because I've written a bunch here, this would actually be like the entire width of the page, which would suck. I don't want that. So now we have a better readable, usable line length. Again, really good. Uh, yeah, that's the right there. Now graph view is still kind of the same. Uh, there's not much changed here. Uh, I think it needs some improvements. It can be hard to see like here, books on race and the second mountain. Uh, it's just hard to see what relates in here. If I start dragging this out, I can start to tell that 
um, books on race re goes to this, and then meritocracy joins these two books in some way. That's good. What I'd really like to see long term is this. We open up Stroll. This is Tiddlywiki Stroll. Uh, and I can come into the eye here and do two step distance. I'm going to redraw my map down here. And now I can see two steps of distance off my main note. You see the main notes highlighted there. And I can start to see like what best research app, what actually links out to this, right? And I could even go three step distance. And now I can start to see again what links out best research app. Devin Think has a bunch of links out and goes out to Stephen Hackett, Mac Stories, Zettelcast in, some daily notes stuff, Tiddly Wiki questions and Rome research, right? So that that's what I really want to see. Um, I don't love quit Tiddly Wiki. Leave, I don't care. Don't care about that either. I don't think this graph view is super useful yet. It's okay. I can see like in this little tiny thing here, um, we should be anti-racist, right? I can see that we have some small nodes that are on their own, but I can't really see yet, like how does everything connect really easily? It's hard to see, right? God delusion. But then I like, okay, get off it to try and hover and I'm fairly zoomed out here. Let's zoom in a bit, but God delusion. Okay. So I can go up to here and now we can start to see, okay, what, how do these things link? But I'd love to be able to center it on a note, say the God delusion um, or anything range, right? We see range connects out to atomic habits, connects out to other stuff. I want to see that. And I want to be able to filter it and say like, give me two or three step distance. Like we just saw in tiddly wiki, that's tiddly wiki Rome strolls, what they call it instead of Rome. <laughs> uh, and then there's another version of that in there that I have. That's very similar. Tiddly Rome. Yeah. Tiddly Rome. Um, I like how they do it better, but this is really good. Um, yeah, this is really good. And right, we can open up our backlinks pane here still. I, there's no backlinks to uh, show backlinks. No, nope, just took me into the specific note, which is fine. That's it for Obsidian 073. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe and you can hit the bell so that YouTube lets you know when I do new videos. If you really, 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 really loved it, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis where you can support the channel. Have an excellent day.